ponytails. Red by Scribbler. Fighting Scars by Mojara Mask Dust gently rained on the only six patrons of the Lucky Mare. Huddled into one window-side booth, the tightly knit friends had seen better days. Bandages covered their bodies, and their slightly disheveled manes were covered in ash and dried blood. Their silence spoke for their mood beaten and broken. Pinkie Pie and Rarity entered the booth at the same time, Pinkie leaning against Rarity for support on her bandaged leg. Once they sat down, the uncomfortable silence continued. The party pony broke the silence by throwing a bag of bits down on the table. Can some pony buy us all drinks with that? I get them myself, but major owies. She rubbed the back of her head slightly, her hoof gliding over the rather large bump she had acquired from the battle less than an hour ago. Sure thing. The alicorn of the group piped up, her one eye not covered by a bandage gleaming. Applejack and Rainbow Dash scooted out of the booth, letting their winged companion pass by. The bag of bits jingled as Twilight walked off to the bar, mustering just enough strength to keep it afloat in her purple grasp. Wait! 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 Pinkie blurted, stopping Twilight in her tracks. What does every pony want? The mares in the booth all quizzically looked at her. It looks like cider for every pony. Eh, I'd be okay with that. Rainbow Dash shrugged, her expression betraying the searing pain she felt in her left wing. As long as you don't drink it all, Tinks. The party pony's face was slightly tinted red. Rarity gently tapped a hoof on the table. Hmm, I'm not usually a fan, save cider season. But the times call for it. Applejack grinned for the first time since she took her seat, taking her eyes off of the wounded Pegasus sitting right next to her. Looks like six satyrs, Twa. Twilight quickly nodded and went over to the bar, where the bartender began to pour the six their drinks. <laughs> Laughter's the best medicine, but cider really helps. Pinky chuckled. Six satyrs! Twilight happily yelped, slamming the six mugs down on the table. Fluttershy slightly jumped, being torn out of her thoughts, but was relieved to see the frothy drink. Thanks, Twilight. Pinky flashed her friend a tired smile, before collapsing her head on the table. Yes. Rarity brought the mug up to her lips with her hooves as magic strained her cracked horn. Thank you, darling. She took a large sip. But thank you, Twilight. Fluttershy squeaked, taking a tiny sip of her cider. Thanks, Thanks Twilight. Applejack and Rainbow Dash answered at the same time, followed by a giggle. <laughs> Pinkie Pie raised her mug, clearing her throat for a toast. <coughs> to us totally kicking some bad guy butt. Here, here. Rarity added in, clinking mugs with her friends. Applejack reached out with her right hoof, but the pain caused her to retract and hold the mug with her left hoof instead. Rainbow Dash finished her mug in one chug, followed by an incredibly loud burp that made Rarity wince. You got that right, Pinkie Pie. Fluttershy's eyes were fixated on her mug before she spoke up. Shame about your life, Pinkie. She whimpered, remembering the showdown earlier that day. Oh, it'll be okay. Pinkie reached across the table, squeezing Fluttershy's hooves. I drink lots of milk. She nodded, drinking more of her cider. Applejack raised a skeptical eyebrow at Rainbow Dash, who was now drooling over the farm pony's cider. You drank your entire mug already? Well, duh! You can get pretty thirsty when fighting a huge monster. The daredevil responded like it was obvious. The group continued to sip in silence, a heavy weight bearing down on their consciousness. I suppose we can't really blame you. Rarity sighed, closing her eyes. It just can't keep going like this. What do you mean by that, Rares? Applejack asked her friend, as Dash stole a sip from under her nose. Well, Rarity stated matter-of-factly, just look at the state of Rainbow's wing. 
Dash cringed, remembering the searing pain of her wing being slammed against the Badland rocks by their foe. Hey, it was nothing! Dash bragged, sticking her hoof to her chest. Sure, I won't be flying much for the next few weeks, but totally kicks the major flank back there. But what I mean is... Rarity cut herself off with a sigh, brushing her once-perfect mane out of her eyes. I'm probably just being overdramatic. Is this about your horn? Twilight inquired, pushing the mug of cheaply made cider away from herself. Not really, no, Rarity confirmed, tapping her horn, which currently had a crack going right down the middle. I know they grow back. She motioned to her other friends. But legs, hooves, wings, they don't. Nah, they just fix themselves instead. Rarity ignored Pinky's crippling lack of medical knowledge. So what is it about, Rarity? Fluttershy asked her good friend. Rarity gripped her mug before speaking softly. We might not be this fortunate forever. She took a swig of the flat cider, unsure of what to say. Are you implying that we're going to... The Princess of Friendship lowered her voice. Die? Rarity didn't answer for a bit, simply looking at her front hooves. Just seeing the grim reality of it, darling. Fluttershy whimpered. You really think we're going to be killed someday? Rarity uncomfortably fidgeted in her seat before speaking up. Darling, just look at yourself. She motioned at Fluttershy's right side of her flank, which was covered with bandages. If the fire had just been a bit closer... Fluttershy's eyes widened at the idea. She had never expected an animal to be so... mean to her. Rare, I don't think that's a good thing to talk about. Applejack warned, noticing Rainbow Dash squirm slightly. Hey, we're all safe now, so that's all that matters. Pinky smiled to her friends before drinking more cider. Even with the owies, there's no place I'd rather be than right here with you guys. As much as I hate to say it, Pinky. Twilight trailed off, sipping her cider again. Rarity's right. Someday it might not be all of us here to celebrate after defeating a threat to Equestria. She motioned to her friends before taking a deep breath. Or any of us. Oh, come on, Twilight! Rainbow Dash protested. Do you really think some dumb creature could kill us? Her guise was convincing to most, but Applejack noticed her pupils dilate near the end. Twilight pointed to her temporarily blind eye, slightly flaring her nostrils. Have you looked at my eye recently? She raised her voice, causing Dash to shrink down into the booth. Pinky frowned. Forget it, you're all killing the mood right now. Twilight calmed herself down before looking at her friend. Sorry, Pinky. No, no, sorry. It's fine. We're just super zapped an owl all over. Rarity stifled a chuckle before offering the rest of her cider to Rainbow Dash, who happily accepted. That's one way of putting it, I guess. <sighs> Rainbow Dash yawned. All resemblance of a cool athlete quickly transforming into one of the most adorable ponies in Equestria as her eyelids drooped. She leaned against Applejack, who wrapped a hoof around her best friend. As the rest of the group smiled, Rainbow Dash spoke up. Today kind of sucked, didn't it? <laughs> you can say that again, Dashy. But hey, at least we beat that mean old dragon, right? Pinky chirped with her trademark optimism. The ponies nodded. I hope the beds here are comfortable. We deserve that much. Rarity watched Dash down her gifted mug of cider, seemingly uncaring of its putrid taste. I think that the Princess of Friendship and her friends could get some nice rooms, don't you agree? Applejack proposed, earning a giggle from the entire group. Pinkie Pie yawned, not bothering to finish the rest of her rancid cider. Rainbow Dash groaned. Not even I can sleep through that. The friends shared a laugh, Applejack included. See? We're fine. Applejack shot Pinky a weary smile, looking at her wounded hoof. I guess we are.
Rarity grimaced, staring at the setting sun. Just the idea that we won't one day. She shook. It's scary. Fluttershy trailed off, shivering. Rainbow Dash squeezed Applejack tighter, trying and failing to hide her terror. Hey, it's not so bad, guys. It's okay, Sug. Applejack returned the hug, attempting to comfort the prismatic Pegasus. It's... Pinky started, thinking of how to cheer her friends up. It's gonna be okay, girls. I know it will. It just doesn't look like it right now because we're tired. Pinky, are you sure? Twilight cut in. I mean, I almost lost an eye. Rarity could have been magicless forever. Fluttershy was almost barbecued. Dash could have never flown again and you... You almost had your entire back leg come off. How can you say this is okay? The friends were silent for a minute, all assessing their injuries. Pinky slightly flinched before regaining her composure. Because we're still here, together. And that's what counts the most right now. Twilight slowly smiled before speaking up again. I guess you're right, Pinky. Rainbow Dash wiped something from her eye which totally wasn't a tear. I think I could use that room about now. I think we all could, darling. Rarity agreed with a curt nod of her head. I think that would be for the best, Fluttershy added. Come on, Sugar Cube, let's go see what the rooms are like. Applejack rose from the booth, her friends following suit. We'll go and see Redheart when we get back to Ponyville, okay? The six trotted up to the bartender, Sun's Pinky, who was being carried by Twilight. Rarity rang the bell to get the bartender's attention, who lazily glanced up at them. The only response he received was their tired stares. Their injuries spoke for themselves. So? The barkeep looked at the six wounded ponies. Six rooms? That'll be sixty bits. Ten each. Um... Rainbow Dash blushed. Make that five? Rarity <laughs> giggled as Dash wrapped a hoof around Applejack. Somebody's having a sleepover! Pinky sang, smiling at the two flustered ponies. Yeah. <laughs> Rainbow Dash kicked at the ground, trying to hide her embarrassment. Well then. The bartender slammed his hoof on his desk, stopping the awkward moment in its tracks. Fifty bits for five rooms it is. Each pony put down ten bits, with the exception of Applejack and Rainbow Dash, who put down five each. Thank you, sir. Twilight Sparkle politely thanked the bartender before leading the friends upstairs. Enjoy your stay. The bartender waved without looking up from the bits. Rainbow Dash lay in her bed, facing away from both the door and Applejack. She uncomfortably squirmed as Applejack got under the covers, unable to find sleep's sweet embrace. Can't sleep neither, Shug? Applejack asked Dash who had slowly begun the inevitable process of stealing the covers. Nah. Rainbow Dash fidgeted in her bed, considering her options. Just not feeling tired, you know? Applejack had heard enough lies from Rainbow to know when she wasn't telling the truth, and she definitely wasn't telling it now. Applejack sighed. You still gonna have things for me, after all that back there? Dash stirred. Obviously upset. It's just... <sighs> she trailed off with a sigh. <sighs> you think Rarity was right? Tears formed in Rainbow Dash's eyes as she turned to face her apple-bucking mare friend. I... She uncharacteristically choked back a sob, any traces of the confident pony ready to face the challenges of the world slowly draining away. <sighs> I just don't want to die, AJ. The tears began to flow freely. I don't want to die. I don't want Twy to die. Or Pinks. Or Flutters. Or Rarity. Or you. Applejack embraced Dash in a tight hug. Me neither, hon. But we'll get back, I'm sure. She let out a weak laugh. 
Hick, you crash so many times and get right back up. I'm surprised anything can get you. I know, but things in Tartarus keep getting bigger and meaner. What if something like Tyrik comes around and we can't find it? Dash stressed. Well, we beat him, so it makes sense that we'd beat something just like him too. Applejack reasoned. But what if we can't beat something like him next time? Or our rainbow power doesn't work? Or he ends up just killing us instead of capturing us? Sorry. If... Rainbow Dash's worrying was silenced when she saw Applejack crack a small smile. Then we'll deal with it as it comes, Rainbow. Applejack drawled, her voice cracking. Although she wasn't saying it, Dash could tell that Applejack was frightened herself. We're all smart ponies. I'm sure that together we'll be able to think of something. Rainbow Dash laughed, her features brightening slightly. <laughs> I guess we are. Applejack grinned, ruffling Dash's mane. Well, you are where you wanna be, at least. Rainbow Dash glowered before answering. You too, AJ. <laughs> she embraced her mare friend in a hug, as they started to drift to sleep. Not Rainbow. Night, AJ. Dash closed her remaining eye as the sun went down. As the bartender went to his own room in the back, he walked under the rooms of the six guests, of the Pegasus, fearful of the fate that awaits her in the future, of the Unicorn, just relieved to be alive, of the Alicorn, worrying over the fates of her friends, of the Earth Pony, both happy to be alive and scared stiff of death at the same time. Of the lovers, taking comfort from death in each other. All ready to face the new day.